And if you was a subscriber, big up on yourself. Welcome. I hope everybody have a prosperous year that year that 2024. But when I say Steve, I look for some things. So I ask some people to subscribe over here so with me. I make we go through some things we have to go through that year. Come here after ask myself to me people why every time two persons have affliction. The mafia think both it take each other life. Why? That me want to go up people. People kill each other for a multitude of reasons. Some do it out of anger, seeking revenge for a perceived wrong. Others do it out of fear, believing that eliminating a potential threat is the only way to ensure their own safety. Some kill for power, seeking to assert dominance over others. And some kill out of desperation, driven to extreme measures by circumstances beyond their control. In some cases, people kill out of a sense of duty or loyalty, believing that they are serving a greater cause by taking another's life. In others, it is a crime of passion, fueled by intense emotions that cloud judgment and lead to irreversible actions. Regardless of the reason, the act of killing another human being is a grave and irreversible one. It leaves a lasting impact not only on the victim and their loved ones, but also on the perpetrator themselves. The guilt, shame, and trauma that often follow such an act can haunt a person for the rest of their life. Ultimately, the reasons why people kill each other are as complex and varied as human nature itself. It is a dark and disturbing aspect of our existence, one that raises difficult questions about morality, justice, and the nature of violence. And yet, Despite our best efforts to understand and prevent it, the cycle of violence continues, leaving destruction and heartache in its wake.